Oh, Tom is another one. You know, he'll he's gonna be seventy this year in June, and um, Tom is Tom is another one about pacing and and also, you know, one of the things that I learned. I I really am inspired by his writing. You know, he has such a gift with with the way he composes, and you know, I kind of like think about when I think about Tom, I also kind of think about like Duke Ellington and Billy Strayhorn, how those guys knew everybody in their band so well that, you know, they write, they wrote really specifically for everybody in that band. So now, you know, that, that group has been, I've been with Tom for, for maybe over 10 years now. And, um, you know, when he writes for the quintet, especially, it's like, man, you don't hear anybody else playing that except for those members in that band, you know, Wayne Escoffrey on tenor saxophone, Danny Grissett on piano, and Ugano Kegwa on bass. You know, he, he writes so specifically for everybody in that band that it's just like, you know, it has that sound, that band sound, like, you know. And, it, and it's funny, like, I've, you know, I've done the group with other people, you know, subbing for the band, and it's great, but it's it's not... It's not the same thing, you know. So he, you know, Tom is really, you know, I guess inspired too by by the band that he's been able to keep together for for over ten years, um, and he's just just a beautiful person on and off the bandstand. You know, I you know I think people shy away from him. They see him, they're like, oh, he's very. I don't know if he, but he's just such a beautiful person. You know, he's just and and a brilliant person. You know, he has a really genius IQ basically, and. Um, you know, I've come over there to his house and done duo sessions, and we'll just sit and talk for hours about history and, you know, and, and not even jazz history, about like world history, American history, and he's just so knowledgeable on every subject. And um, yeah, it's it's for me, it's just very inspiring. You know, like I, you know, the level of concentration that he has to deal with is, you know, for me, it's just I aspire to get to that. You know, so, uh, I, you know, I'm really. He's another guy that I'm really uh, honored to be sharing the bandstand with for all these years. Yeah, the Three Cohens. I mean, I've been playing with them for off and on for years. I, I think I first met Avishai when he moved from uh, where did he, he? I think he was going to school in California. He was doing the uh, Monk Institute when it moved to California. And um, he decided to leave, and he came to New York, and he was, like, one of the first guys. Well, he went to Berkeley first, and then I think I met him in Boston first. That's where it was. And then when he when he left California and came to New York, we kind of got back together. We just started playing a lot together. And then uh, then I met his sister, Anat, and then later on his, uh, his oldest brother, uh, Yuval. And uh, he said, man, we have this band where we're playing together. And I was like, man, that's that's interesting, you know. I, you know, I, I, you, like I said, Yuval was the last person I, I, you know, I met, so I didn't really know, you know, him that well. But I was like, man, if if he's anything like his brother and sister, I, he's he's got to be great. So, uh, and sure enough, man, it was. I think the first concert we did was at. Um, I think I played with him in New York at the Jazz Gallery. Um, actually, my my wife is the uh, assistant director there. And so she she had the the three Cohens there, and that's where I first first played with them. They were celebrating the release of a record called Braid. That was their first record as a as a trio. And ever since then, we've been I've been playing with them. We played uh, two years together two years ago. Uh, we did a festival in Poland, and then we you know they went home to Israel, and we played in Israel at the Opera House. And it's always a joy to play with them. They have so much energy, and and it's it's great, you know. You, you know, they're they're equally great writers, and you know, and, and it's a lot of like drama within the music, which is beautiful too, you know. And and it's um, it's also a lot of uh, things that go on, you know, where you know we you know where the rhythm section brings different things out, and then they'll do some acapella stuff where. You can hear how they've just, you know, grown up together, you know, because they're they're very close in age. So, you know, they each were they each inspire each other so well. So, yeah, that's been amazing. Uh, my name is Jonathan Blake.